Hello, welcome back again. So today we will do an extension of the previous projection we did. The previous problem was an octahedron is lying on the HP on one of its triangular faces such that one of the axes of the octahedron is parallel to the VP. Draw its front view and the top view. So for that problem we, we drew this first projection of the top view and the front view and then we did the rotation such that one of the triangular face which was BCP was on the HP. So we rotated, we did the first rotation and then we draw the top view and the front view. So now today we will do the extension of the same problem and here we have an octahedron is lying on the HP on one of its triangular faces such that one of its axis is making an angle of 30 degree with the VP. Draw its top view and the front view. So in today's problem basically one of the axis so in our case we had used the axis PO which was parallel to the VP but today we will make this axis PO inclined 30 degree to the VP. So in this case if we use our model so that day we had this as the model and the axis PO was parallel to the VP. So it was parallel to the VP. So now we will make the projection such that PO this axis is making an angle of 30 degree with the VP. So this axis is making an angle of 30 degree. So, so it is a case of second rotation. So to draw this kind of problem we will start with so we will use the first rotation as previous uh, video. So please watch the previous video and from here we will move to the second rotation. So first we will draw the center line and here we will rotate the axis PQ 30 degree. So first we will draw a line which is 30 degree to the reference line. So since this is going to be axis so we will draw its center line. Now we will transfer this the top view to this place such that the axis PO has been rotated. So this is the case of second rotation. So we will draw exactly the same top view but in a rotated form. So that means basically we are you can imagine that we are cutting this out and just rotating this way. So first let's find out the center point. The center point of this one. So we will use this point as a center point and we have got this P and we have got O. So we will write here P1 and O1. Since this is a hexagon as you can see, so to draw a hexagon it is much easier if you draw a circle. So with this as the radius. So we could also take out each point and we can draw here but it is much easier if we draw the circle first. So let's draw the circle. So now on this circle two points P and O are already there so all we need to find so we can use this same arc and very carefully we can get all the other points. So now you can see that we have got A1 this has B1 O is O1 is here so this will become C1 and this is D1. So now you can see all the points have been 
rotated and this angle of rotation is 30 degree such that the axis is making an angle of 30 degree with the reference line so now we will complete the hexagon so this hexagon they are all visible edges so we draw thick lines now here we can see that a a1 d1 is also visible and a1 o1 is also visible so we are following all the edges and same is for d1 o1 p1 c1 is not visible so it is dotted line similarly p1 b1 is not visible so we have dotted line and same for b1 c1 so now what we have got is the top view but this top view has been rotated by 30 degree so you can also show the angle here now we will draw the projections to find the front view so first we will project from from the top view so now you can see that a1 and p1 are falling are aligned you can see that a1 and p1 are aligned similarly b1 and d1 are aligned and O1, C1 are aligned. This just happened in this case. Depending upon the different cases, you may have different orientation. But in this case, it so happened that they are aligned. Now from here, we already have this extension as the reference line, so we don't need. So we will draw. So this is the extension for A1 and O1 dash. So here we can identify the points. So P1 dash and P1. So here will be P1 dash. So for nomenclature, we can use the same symbols as here. Same, same symbols as we used for the first rotation in the second rotation. So A1. So here this point will be A1 dash and B1. So this point will be B1 dash. So O1 and O1. So this point is O1 dash. And C1 is here C1 dash and C1. So this becomes C1 dash. So now let's identify the edges which are visible so this is the top view and we are looking from the front view we are looking from this way so in this way we will see that the edge a1 o1 is visible so first of all we will draw the a1 dash and o1 dash so this is the front view of this edge now we are looking from this side so a1 b1 will be visible so a1 dash b1 dash sorry this should be b1 so we are following the edges each edge similarly b1 o1 so b1 dash o1 dash this will be visible Okay, so one of the triangle is ready. So now looking from this direction, you can see that this triangular, this uh, triangle which is in the dotted line is touching the HP and this triangle is on top. So the edge A1, P1 will be visible. 
looking from this way. Similarly, the edge O1C1 will be visible. Now, P1C1. Looking from this way, P1C1 is this edge. But this edge is not visible from this direction. But you can see that P1 and B1 will be visible looking from this direction. So P1, B1 is visible. Similarly, B1 and C1 is visible. So even though P1, C1 edge is not visible, but since P1, B1 and B1, C1 these two edges are visible so we have to draw thick line because they are overlapping so now we can see other edges so for example point D is somewhere here but you see looking from this direction D1 is on the back side so the edge P1 D1 this is on the back side when we are looking from this direction so this is not visible so we can draw a dotted line similarly when we are looking from this direction the edge D1 C1 will not be visible now here you can see that D1 dash is on the back side so we can draw within bracket so now we have drawn the the front view by using the second rotation method so this is the top view so top view is basically just rotation of this top view into this format and then from here we take the projections from both sides identify the points and then identify the edges which are visible in the front view looking from this direction and which are hidden so the hidden edges are dotted line visible edges are solid lines also the edge d1 o1 d1 o1 looking from this direction it will not be visible because this is on the back side so d1 o1 is not visible Similarly, D1, A1 is also not visible. But since A1, O1, edge A1, O1 is visible, it will overlap these hidden edges. So therefore, A1 dash, O1 dash, we have solid line and there is no dotted line here. But we should know that D1, O1 will be hidden line. D1, A1 will be hidden line because both these edges are not visible from this direction we have covered all the edges here looking from this direction so this is the front view so we have presented all the visible edges as solid lines and the edges which are hidden as dotted line but some of the hidden edges are overlapping with visible edges so therefore there is sol solid line this is the double rotation method. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any question or comment, please do write them down in the comment section below. Thank you.